So this is going to be a quick how-to video on how to play your old Windows 3.1 games within Windows 8 64-bit. Um, turn my TV down there. So first you need to download and install a program called DOSBox. So you open up DOSBox and we want to mount a C drive, so you go mount, see if I remember correctly, C, try to type with one hand, or no, mount C, I think it's without the colon on this part, and you do C, colon, backslash, DOS progs. That's my directory where I have all my DOS programs on my 64-bit Windows 8. So it says drive C is mounted as local directly C colon DOS proc. So then we'll go to C drive. Oops. I th think you have to have the colon. There we go. And in this, uh, wherever you decide to make your DOS directory, I just recommend C colon, you know, DOS progs because that's where the instructions give you as an example so you don't have to you can just follow the instructions you don't have to member a separate directory so anyways after you do that you want to search the internet for something called Windows 3.1 for DOS box you download that and place it in your folder that you chose in this case DOS progs and then after you do that you just type Windows and uh, one thing to note though, before you do this, if you haven't installed the media yet and it runs off a CD or even if you haven't installed it but it needs the CD to run, before you enter Windows, you need to mount your CD-ROM drive as well uh, or else uh, Windows 3.1 probably will not recognize it once you're in there. So here we go. And then here we have, as you can see, Windows 3.1. And uh, this is one of Windows, uh, I mean, uh, Sim Tower was one of my favorite games when I was younger. And it still is one of my favorite games to play from time to time. So, click on Sim Tower. As you can see, oh, I thought I had a tower already loaded on here, but I guess I don't. So anyways, it actually uh, runs very well within Windows 8. Um, I forget how to slow the speed down. I haven't played this in a while, but anyways, it does work very well. I've built full towers and everything, you know. I believe if you go, well this is just a demonstration, so I'm not going to actually build a tower, but as you can see it works. Go next to that. No, I don't want to save that. So you can install basically any of your Windows 3.1 media. I just have Sim Tower and Sim City right now. Close that out. Uh, it also enabled me to uh, comes with the standard Windows 3.1 games as well. So I actually, uh, and then, uh, see, uh, there was, uh, something, out, there was a screensaver. Let's see if I can remember how to get to it. Close that. A control panel. Well, I should really uh, map these out before I tape. Color, fonts, ports, mouse, desktop, MIDI map. Ah, see, here's a screensaver. It's called Screen Antics. It's by Sierra. The same people that brought us such uh, games as Space Quest, Police Quest, 
King's Quest, you know, all those good old point and click adventures. And we'll click test. And essentially what this screensaver is, is it's a uh, uh, guy stuck on an island. And he does all these different activities and you'll see, uh, if you watch long enough, you'll see various, like, mermaid come to visit him. A plane will fly by and he's looking the other way. And all this crazy stuff. Uh, back when uh, I was younger and we actually had a Windows 3.1 computer natively, me and my friend used to call him uh, Captain Scratch's Butt because every once in a while he would uh, scratch his backside and then it looked like he was scratching his butt. For some reason back then that was just hilarious to us. So anyways, that's how you can run Windows 3.1 and your Windows 3.1 games are applications within the Windows 8 64-bit environment. So we'll exit Windows, yes, and I think if you type exit, yeah, DOSBox will exit. So there we go.